Hello, everyone. Welcome to my The Young and the Restless Homies official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. According to The Young and the Restless Spoilers, Cole Howard assured Victoria Newman that Claire Grace would remain happy and safe. But this prediction will not come true. Claire is in jeopardy, and Kyle Abbott may be partly to blame. Claire acknowledged to Kyle on July 2 that she had never acquired a habit or taste for alcohol because Jordan prevented it. Claire, on the other hand, was eager to try Kyle's pricey champagne and might easily develop a liking for it over time. There has to be a reason why Y and R is focused on the alcohol issue especially when Lucy Romolani recently discussed drinking with Faith Newman. Faith astonished Lucy when she said that she avoided alcohol because she nearly died the last time she drank. Lucy, on the other hand, was particularly interested in sororities and seemed to believe that college was one huge party. Of course, we know Sharon Newman is acting strangely due to the new medications she is taking, even if Sharon's doctor switches her back to her former medications now that she has complained, this could result in another adjustment period and an opportunity for Sharon to genuinely fall off the rails. Whatever the reason, Sharon has recently been hooked on Cassie Newman's past car accident. Cassie was unskilled behind the wheel and crashed while attempting to drive an intoxicated Daniel home, which led to her death. It feels like the show is offering fans puzzle pieces that will eventually fit together. Claire may be accused of causing a drunk driving crash in the near future. Claire's system may contain enough alcohol to raise suspicion if she begins drinking now that Kyle has corrupted her. Then, then, maybe Claire will continue to avoid booze. That could lead to a situation in which Kyle comes to Claire's defense and it is eventually established that Claire is sober once she is tested. Could Lucy, who is underage, get drunk and end up causing a collision? Could Sharon have caused the accident because her medications were all out of whack? Regardless, it appears like Claire, Lucy, Faith, and Sharon may all be involved in a tail twist that may send one or more of them to the hospital after a crash. According to the young and the restless spoilers. Some surprises and shakeups are in the works, so stay tuned for more surprising news. According to the young and the restless teasers for Wednesday, July 3, Audra Charles will check up with Nate Hastings and provide some updates on Glissade. If Audra says she has been compelled to cooperate with Kyle Abbott, Nate may understand Victor Newman plans to use Glissade to target Jack Abbott at Jabo. However, it appears that Audra will eventually prefer a distraction from all of this work-related conversation. Audra and Nate are both single, so what are they waiting for? There's no reason Nate and Audra shouldn't sleep together because they clearly have chemistry. It may not be long until the clothes come off, as Wednesday's spoilers indicate that some sparks will be on full display. Whether this leads to Audra and Nate becoming a full-fledged couple or not, they may succumb to temptation and spend time in Audra's suite. Chance Chancellor will grill Billy Abbott. Billy's motives will be called into question regarding the demerger and the role he truly envisions for Lily Winters at the conclusion of all this. Other Y and R spoilers indicate that Jack will question Kyle because he is now skeptical of his son's alliance with Victor Newman. Kyle has been quiet about his new work so far, but will he ultimately admit that Victor offered him a chance he couldn't pass up? Whatever the case, Jack will presume Victor is using his kid to get back at him, and he will chastise Kyle for being a pawn. Of course, Jack will keep part of his rage for Victor and declare that the feud is back on. According to our Y and R forecasts, Victor and Jack's feud will have some unexpected implications for both sides. According to the young and the restless spoilers, Jack is about to fight back in a huge way, so stay tuned for updates on his next vindictive move. The young and the restless spoilers indicate that the true Diane Jenkins has surfaced. 
She's come out of her shell in the midst of her dispute with her son, Kyle Abbott. Jack Abbott named her CEO of Javo. She also owns part of the Abbott Mansion. Diane said she had no interest in his firm or his wealth, but she appears content with it. Despite the turmoil, her true nature has emerged. The young and the restless spoilers. Diane Jenkins becomes CEO. According to the young and the restless teasers, Diane Jenkins was appointed CEO of Jabo. Her true self revealed shortly thereafter. Diane became fascinated with Jack after he gave her the post. Then Wyatt and our viewers discussed it on the Soap Central discussion boards. They noted that her temperament had altered after she fired her son. Kyle believes he should carry Ja on his back. He doesn't understand why he didn't get the top spot. Now, she is firing her own son without consulting Jack. Diane has already vowed to abandon Jack if he does not stop sponsoring Nikki. It was only a matter of time before the real Diane Jenkins appeared. The original poster stated, Well, I like her, and I believe Jack deserves a strong woman who will fight for what she wants. He's enough of a naive fool for both of them. He almost killed himself for Nikki. So what was she expected to do? Another user said, According to rumors from the young and the restless, Diane is settling into her new role. She's becoming the type of lady that won't put up with anyone's trash. I and our spoilers, the real Diane Jenkins emerges. Some Y and our watchers believe she has finally acted like the calculating social climber who married her wealthy husband. Diane has also been accused of driving a breach between her son and husband. According to spoilers from The Young and The Restless, Diane fired her son right away. Jack may regret this when Kyle leaves the mansion with Harrison Locke. He may find his own place with Claire Grace. This has the potential to permanently alter the Abbott family dynamic. Diane is already using her abilities. She is also considering replacing Ashley Abbott, even if Jack is opposed to the idea. She believes Ali Nguyen is equally brilliant. Does this indicate Ali will eventually return to the show? Diane will continue to make intriguing decisions in the family business. What are your thoughts? Do you think the true Diane Jenkins emerged? Or do you believe she is content with her role? Comment below. Did I do that? When Nikki asked Jack to be her Alcoholics Anonymous sponsor, she didn't care if Victor opposed. She didn't mind that Diane objected. She wanted Jack to do it, so he did. Nikki didn't expect Jack to try to stop her drinking by nearly dying himself with pills, but that was his fault. However, Nikki must also accept responsibility. Jack's assistance to her strained his marriage to Diane, prompting him to release Kyle from Jabo, and it put a target on Jack's back as Victor now seeks vengeance for Jack's daring to assist Victor's wife in a way Victor could not. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.